Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I am Toman G, in case you didn't read what the channel's called, because apparently that's what people do, is name channels after themselves, you know? And we are about to try to fill up our new cedar, which isn't going to work, because our front loader isn't tall enough. But the bags are out here, so we might as well hop in and fill up what we can with seed. It is the next in-game day from the last episode. Um, that did not fill it up very much, so we're going to need some more seed. Um, good news, before we do that, we have proven, or I have proven, a point. We originally started off with 60 full-size chickens and 30 day-old chickens. We now have... 60 day old chickens you do not need roosters to reproduce your chickens they just reproduce naturally on their own no roosters required we are making some eggs which is nice we are making some honey that extra honey pallet spawn point thing has come in very handy very handy We're getting a lot of honey, especially since of how much money it's worth. Uh, just being able to store it like that, beautiful. We also are getting a fair bit of lettuce. We still have 1,500 liters of lettuce storing inside the greenhouse. So we will need to sell those stuff today. And we also have our soybean field that is now ready to harvest as well. Yes, it's going to be a very, very busy day. Uh, yesterday was kind of more laid back, just do a couple contracts, you know, pass some time, hang out, shoot shit, that kind of stuff. Um, just more of a filler episode. With that said, the filler episode, we ma still made some pretty good progress buying that cedar, you know. That's, uh, that's definitely a very good investment for the farm. That's going to go a long way, having this new big cedar. Uh, it's definitely going to help us out. Um, and then the next thing we'll have to buy is a bigger tractor and another field. Preferably, probably another field first, so that can help fund a newer, bigger tractor. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And that is a cedar full. It does have a fairly small tank, only does seed, doesn't do fertilizer. But to be honest with you, that's fine by me. I, uh, I normally get most of my fertilizer down on the field before I plant anyways, so I don't really need a drill that can do both. Right? Right. Left? Right. Plus my, my old seeder can seed and fertilize anyways, so I'm not really missing out on an option because I didn't have it that option previously. So I personally, oh, I knocked that bag over. Oh well. I personally think I made the right call Considering this one is so much bigger, uh, it wasn't that much more money than the other ones. And it's still a direct drill, so I cannot complain at all. Uh, we'll get this Massey out of the way, and we'll actually get the Massey hooked up onto the tra trailer uh, to unload the combine. Uh, really depends on what type of price we have for soybeans today, uh, because that's what we have to harvest. We haven't harvested soybeans of our own yet, I don't think, in this Let's Play, so this will be exciting. We might get a full trailer load. Probably not. It's not that big of a field, and soybeans don't yield super well. So we'll go and get the combine unfolded, because there's uh, no time like the present to get jobs completed. It's uh, definitely going to take us a little bit longer than what it did with the X9 Combine that we were using yesterday for the contracts. But I still really like this small little ditz fire. It's, uh, it's a really nice starting Combine. I like it. I like it a lot better than that new Holland that they started us, started us off with in FS19. This one's just got a bit bigger of a tank and, you know, 6 meter header. It, uh, it just works better. I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. So I hope all you guys out there, guys and girls, doing well. 
I'm doing all right. Still kind of sick. Uh, I'm recording the last episode that you guys just saw and this one currently at the same sit down. So hopefully my medicine has kicked in a little bit more. Um, I am feeling a little drowsy today, which is weird considering I've slept a fair bit. Still not sure exactly what I have. It's, uh, girlfriend's got strep throat, so hopefully I don't have that. I uh, don't really like going to the doctors, but uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out. My body's got a pretty good immune system as it sits. I, I like to eat dirt when I was a child. That's kind of what that means. <laughs> Any of you out there with a good immune system, you probably ate dirt when you are a kid too. Um, just build up all those antibodies over the years. You know? Eating dirt's good for you. Well, kids, if you're listening to this, don't, don't go out and eat dirt. Because I told you to. If you're going to eat dirt just because you want to figure out what dirt tastes like, then be my guest. But don't tell your parents, Oh, Mommy, Daddy, I'm eating dirt because the man on the TV told me to. Please don't do that. Just, just please don't do that. It's not good for business. I can even call this a business. Um, but no, I'm not telling you to go out there and eat dirt. Not what I'm saying. The sand. You know, build up that immune system. I, uh, especially with this uh, pandemic that's been going on, everyone started living in a bubble. Yeah, we started washing our hands a little bit more, which we really should have been doing that from the first place, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> We've, I guess, a lot of people realized how many germs there are out and about kicking around and stuff but everything is just so clean now I kind of feel bad for kids nowadays to where if they don't get exposed like when I was a kid one of my buddies got the chicken pox so what did my mom do she sent me over there to play with my friend who had chicken pox why so I got chicken pox and then I would have to stay home from school for the next like five or six days or however long it was until my chicken pox went away but it was better to deal with it when I was a kid and I had a strong immune system and bounce back fairly quickly than it would be if I was like 40 or 50 and got chicken pox. I think chicken pox and shingles are kind of go hand in hand. I think that's how that works, but I don't know. I'm no doctor. Do not come to me for your medical advice. <laughs> Bad things will probably happen. Bad things will happen. Yes. Do not come to tow man for medical advice. I'm a tow truck driver, not a physician. I know people get those mixed up all the time, but you know, it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so farming, yes, farming simulator 22, that's what we're here for. Uh, now that I've gone on a rant and ramble that I can't remember or even fathom how I got onto it, and it absolutely had no value at all. Um, hopefully I had a bit of comedic relief. Um, farming, yes, farming. Harvesting, yes. Uh, soybeans. Soybeans are good. We're at 35% of a tank already, and we've gone up and down the field a handful of times. Four or five times. I don't know. Can I count? Not really. Um, but yeah, 36%. We're going up, which is good. We're going down, that means we'd have a hole somewhere and put blowing holes in my ship. Uh, yeah. Especially now with the salters and sanders out, out here in Canada, our roads get icy and all slushy and crappy, so the plow drivers come out. Shout out to you guys out there. Uh, if you're a plow driver and you're actually plowing the streets and the roads, kudos to you. I used to plow parking lots, commercial, residential. I don't think I'd be able to deal with all the extra idiots out on the road driving a city plow or anything like that. So kudos to you. Thanks for keeping us all safe and putting up with the rest of us idiots out there in the general public um but yeah you, you'll drive past one of them and they're laying down the salt that just peppers the side of your truck or the front of your truck or car or whatever you're driving and it's just like huh quit blowing holes in my shit um yeah it's funny it's uh if you're outside of if you're not somewhere that gets snow i guess you probably won't get that reference but if you get snow and you have plows out that Mostly rock salt, because 
you know, the name rock salt. kind of has rocks in it mixed with salt. So it's literally firing out little pebbles and salt. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's good times. But it's there to keep us safe. So, you know, can't can't really complain, even though we all do. Um, they've got a real tough job. And the weather gets bad, you're like, oh, fuck, where are the plows? Where are the salters? They're not out here. It's dangerous. And then when they do come out, oh, fuck, get out of my way, you stupid plows. I'm late for work. Yeah, you, you can never win. Never win. And I guess the same thing's true with tow trucks, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Just been rambling on for snow plows. I'm not going to get into a ramble about tow trucks right now either. We're 12 minutes into this video roughly already, or at least that's what I've been recording for, and I haven't shut the fuck up yet. So I'm going to shut the fuck up and finish this field. Enjoy. Some silence. Well, it won't be silent. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm done. And there we are. Oh, are we going to fit everything in? We are. Just barely. <laughs> Got a little wide right here at the end. Got a little too girthy. Not too girthy, just a little, a little more girthy than what was anticipated. But we... We did barely decent on a field this size, I think, for yield on soybeans. We've got... A full combine load and 1,500 liters, so it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Not sure what soybeans even going for right now, for price-wise. Soybean, the train is going down. The grain elevator is 26. So we should probably be able to see over $3,000 for soybeans. So we're just going to store that for right now. Um... As it sits right now, we're in August, which is apparently right after the high season, which yeah, kind of makes sense with the downwards uh, trend. But if you guys have been following along with any of the videos, we know that the price table can uh, can lie and be deceiving. It's not gossipable, if you will. I am thoroughly glad that you do not need roosters. To reproduce your chickens though, I'm very happy about that fact, and it makes roosters absolutely pointless. But look at them. Look at all the pretty cluck clucks. No? No? Not gonna do it back to me? Okay. Just gonna walk right through me. I see how it is. Rude. I guess, I mean, that is fitting. Chickens are pretty rude. <laughs> um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed my clucking. If you didn't, don't worry. I, I don't think I'm going to do it again. So we got just barely under 10,000 liters off this field, which isn't bad by any means, I don't think. I think that's pretty decent for that size of a field. We do still have some pretty small fields. They just kind of feel big since our equipment is also small. But... That's all changing. We've got that cedar there, which, ooh, buddy, that is going to really speed things up. I'm very happy with that purchase. Very, very happy with that purchase. Uh, speaking of another happy purchase, this uh, fertilizer spreader here. I like it, too. It's uh, coming very handy. We've made lots of money with it. I would kind of like to get one of the smaller ones. Or not even the smaller ones, but the ones with the wider working width. Uh, especially for like contracts and things. 
Uh, speaking of contracts and things, do you have any good fertilizing contracts? Uh, 13,000? Sure, we'll do that one. 7,000? Sure, we'll do that one. And 6,000? Sure, we'll do that one. So we've got another three contracts. Oh, apparently two. One well, of them disappeared, I guess. That's a shame. What if I refresh them? Refresh a couple times? No extra contracts. Oh, that's a shame. But we got two of them. We can go do two contracts once uh, once we finish getting our fields fertilized. Do we need lime? Probably be a good thing to check, too. Um, no, we do not need lime. That's good. Just uh, get some fertilizer down on them. Do a little bit of stubble tillage. And uh, it's not stubble tillage. It's just... Uh, Munching in the stubble. We'll put you on a worker. And we will go and get our stara on the mulcher. That's what it's called. Mulcher. Mulch all that stuff up. Be able to put down another application of fertilizer on top of that. And uh, then seed. That's all we got to do. It is nice with the mulcher. You change the ground texture, which means you can apply another layer of fertilizer right on top. And then all your fertilizing is done before your crop is even planted in the ground. Super realistic, not really. You would normally end up putting uh, fertilizer on the ground during the plant's growth uh, as, to act as like a booster. But hey, it's a game. And in this game, it works. So I'm not going to question it too much. I'm just going to let it happen. Just let it happen. Let it all hang out. Just letting it just letting it go. Realistically, the working width on this thing is pretty it's a good size for our fields. Like I don't really need something that spreads out to 45 meters. It, it don't get me wrong, 45 me meters it, that's the cream, the creme de la creme, if you will. But it's a little overkill for what we have right now. Just a little bit. For the contracts that we're doing, not really. And fit right in and we're gonna hit that bag of lime we're gonna hit it oh we're just he's just gonna say no nope, sorry can't make it through cannot make it through okay well thankfully i got super strength now and of course since he was blocked in the mid turn he's just gonna waste a bunch of fertilizer because that's what workers do they still haven't fixed that and they still stop even though you're already spreading fertilizer and wasting it i never did fix that from 19. Yeah, things that make your heart rate go up. Anywho, <laughs> fertilizing, going down, pretty good. We could also seed and then fertilize again, but uh, the seeder would catch up to the mulcher pretty quick. Like, very quickly. Like, kind of too quickly. So we might as well just let that mulch and then let the fertilizer do its thing. Which I will do this last little strip, just because, you know, there's nothing else to do right now. And I can also click it on and off again, which saves me a little bit of fertilizer. At least I think it saves me a little bit of fertilizer. Turn it on and back off again. But I'll never really tested that. I hard to test that, but hey. Fertilizing first layer is done completed beautiful nice right on just waiting on the mulcher to finish his job fertilize again quickly seed nice quick turnaround uh, i think we're going to put barley in this field and when that field is done over there we're going to do barley in that field as well we're going to do a massive barley harvest we got a field of wheat we're going to do these two fields of barley and if we buy another field, I don't know what we're going to put in that. Maybe barley. Who knows? You'll have to stick around to find out. we got wheat and we got canola growing right now. But like I just said, barley, barley. Are we going to plant more barley? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. No one knows. Even your mother. Maybe your mother knows. Maybe you should go ask your mom. Maybe your mom knows. I can only picture that now. 
Hey, mommy, do you think Toman's gonna plant barley in the other field if he buys it? That'd be a good conversation to have with your mom. You're like, who the hell's Toman? Ah, I'm watching all that TV. <laughs> um, yes. Random thoughts of the day that uh, kept me separated as a child. Yes. Yes. Uh, stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Uh, what we could do is we could start loading up all this junk that we got laying around. Well, it's not junk. It's uh, worth money stuff. Uh, we don't have that big of a trailer. We don't have a flatbed trailer. We don't have a curtain side trailer. All we got is our pickup and our little utility trailer. So, I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit everything all in one go, but I'm going to try because uh, making more than one trip is, uh, you know, frowned upon. Just like carrying all your groceries in. I don't care if I cut all the circulation off of my arm and in my hands. I'm getting all those grocery bags out of my truck in one fucking go. One go. Two trips? No way. If I got to make two trips, then I bought too much stuff. And I don't like buying too much stuff. So... Let's just turn the super strength on because this just makes it so much easier to deal with anything like honey. I am so glad super strength mod came back out. So happy. So, so happy. Makes Toe Man a happy guy. Thank you to whoever made the super strength. So I'm just going to load all this, all these pallets up. And uh, I'll probably see you... If they all blow apart in a spectacular fashion, or everything's all loaded up and it looks good. If it doesn't look good, then, uh, yeah. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The stubble tiller, or the mulcher, pretty well done. We got the fertilizer spreader going again. Helper I has completed their task. Thank you, Helper I. I'm actually surprised you were able to do that. You didn't get all discombobulated down there by the silo. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, helper I. Not so proud with that helper over there. But, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out one way or another. We've got all our pallets loaded. Uh, minus the eggs. I mean, we've almost got a full pallet of eggs over there, so we could probably throw that in the back of the pickup, too. To make a little bit of extra money but would you just look at that unit right there isn't that just the beautifulest sight you've ever seen you know what it is for me that's beautiful beautiful stacking stacking capabilities on point thank you thank you i'm bowing you just can't see it i'm still bowing thank you thank you uh yeah backing up skills not something to be bowing about but i'll blame my lack on being able to back up very well for my bowing. If I wasn't bowing, I would have backed it up a lot better. That's my story, and I am sticking to it. Um, speaking of backing up, let's back our tractor up to this cultivator, which uh, we haven't used in I don't know how long, and go sell the damn thing. We don't need it. We never use it. It's tiny. It's 2.5 meters. It's not even a 3 meter cultivator. We don't need it. We don't want it. We should sell it to get something that we do want. Money. Cold hard cash. We like cold hard cash. We like money. Who doesn't? If you don't like money, then what's wrong with you? Why don't you like money? I know people say money is the root of all e evil, but uh, I'd much rather be sad on a jet ski than be sad in a cardboard box. You know? Don't you know? I think you know. I think you're picking up what I'm laying down there, Vern. Uh, who's Vern? I don't know. I don't know who Vern is, but uh, Vern, he knows what I'm picking up or what I'm laying down. I think. I hope. I think so. Maybe. Fuck, I'm weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Time to sell our cultivator for a couple hundred bucks, probably. Maybe. Uh, $7,000? What? $7,242. Wow, I should have done that a long time ago. Sell that. I don't need it. How much is our tract worth? Fifty-five grand. Oh, we might as well repair it while we're here. Fifty-six grand. Fourteen thousand dollars to repaint it. Paint's not even that bad on you. Paint's not even that bad. Look, 
You got a nice clean undercarriage and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's not rust. Yeah, paint's not that bad. $14,000 to repaint you, my ass. <laughs> I guess we could top you up with fuel while we're over here, but uh, yeah. $41,272 in the bank before we get fuel. Not bad, not bad at all. Plus, we gotta go sell our produce. People like our goods, don't you know? People like our goods. I don't really want to sell our goods in every episode. And I don't think we sold any of our goods last episode. But even every other episode is still a bit much. Problem is, we just don't have the storage capacity to let it sit for any longer than maximum of like two days. So that's kind of a downfall, especially now that we've gonna have eggs you know chickens lay eggs we have up to 600 chickens that's that's a lot of eggs that's a lot a lot of eggs that take up a lot of room and don't worry I'll stack the egg pallets I don't care about realism sake um, so at least it won't be just a tiny little trailer load each time but uh, yeah so, we might as well get our brand new cedar working in the field. Fertilizing is done already. That was quick. Uh, wheat? Barley. We're gonna put barley in. Yes. Yes. I think that's barley. That should be the barley. That is the barley symbol, right? Just want to double check. I don't want to go on and on and on about saying, Oh yeah, he's putting barley in the field and then fucking put wheat in. That is barley. Perfect. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's turn this bad boy on. Set her down. There we go. We are putting barley into the field. I'm gonna put it on a worker. I don't even want to use my new piece of equipment. I just want to see how badly he struggles. Oh, he's doing all right. Doing all right. Doing pretty good. He he's up to a walking speed, so that's that's not bad. Right? Six mile an hour? Not terrible. Still faster than working with that little three meter thing. Right? Coming back, it'll be better going downhill, I think. I think. Yeah, can't complain. What kind of prices are we running for honey and lettuce? What about eggs? Uh, show current prices. $4,000? And going up? The bakery, oh, you know, I, I just gotta, I, I have to, I'm sorry, I have to take those eggs, the eggs that we do have, I, I gotta take them, 4,000 bucks, sure, uh, da, da, da. look at clothes, $22,000 and going up, oh man, I want, I want, I need, I need honey, that's a pretty good price for honey, and how about, Lettuce, that's a good price for lettuce too, and it's going up. Oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Chocolate's got a pretty good price too, almost five grand for a bar of chocolate. Planks are doing good. Furniture's doing good. Wow. Manure. Yeah, I'm not even going to go into that. Stones. Could sell some stones. Don't have any stones, but we could sell some stones. Um, you know. But yeah, everything's going pretty good. Turn your beacon off. Hold you up. Oh yeah, we've got fertilizing contracts to go do with you. You think you were, uh, you think you were done for the rest of the day? I don't think so. You got fertilizing stuff to do, man. Fertilizing contracts, where, where, where's the flashy flash? Uh, field 13, field 18, up the hill, up the hill and to the left. So, we shall go to here. We will create job. We'll just give it the gold college try, you know. We'll try it out, field work. We'll start you right, right there. And click start job. Hopefully... Oh boy, where are you going? 
What are you doing? Why are you doing that? You were on the trail. What, what are you doing? Why, why did you have to do that? You're scaring me. You're scaring me, worker. Well, at least he's out onto the road. That's, that's, that's good, right? Uh, another 41 liters of honey? Sure, I'll take you. I'll take you with me. Or maybe I'll just throw you. Oh, we got another pallet of lettuce over there now, too? Sure, I'll take uh, some floating honey. Sure. I'll take another pile of lettuce. Lettuce? Lettuce? Lettuce. I'll take some more lettuce. Lettuce. Uh, you don't fit in the back very well. I gotta turn you. I gotta jam you in sideways. Boom. Just like that. And then we'll go and grab our eggs. And put those on top. Like a weird backwoods sandwich. Got, uh... How many, how many eggs is that? Uh, 1,292 1, pieces? Is that, is that what it is in liters? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we strap this bad boy down into the pickup. Playing Jenga, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Get on top of the lettuce. Don't fight with the lettuce, just get on top of it. You know? Just straighten out. Straighten up. Get in there. Yes. Just play nice. No, no, no. On top of the lettuce. I don't. I don't need honey eggs. I want honey or eggy lettuce. That's what I want. Eggy lettuce, like an egg salad sandwich. Yeah, one thousand two hundred ninety-two liters of eggs. Look at that. We're gonna take that to the bakery, and everything else is going to the farm shop. I did have to fold down the sides on our little trailer. And as you can see, our rear tire is running on its rim. Pretty good there. As soon as you start moving, she starts sinking down. But, uh, yeah. Trailer is overloaded. Pickup truck's overloaded. What else is new? We beat everything we own. So, why don't we just beat this some more going down the road? And, I mean, we do own the bakery as well. So, I want to make sure that we it, it sells. I... I don't want to put it in as like a production because we can't do anything with it you know so it's set to inactive right now so that should be it that should be all we shouldn't have to do any other settings changes i don't think now this is the bakery here we will just drive around We'll stop you there. Take you off. Drop you down. The money's not going up. Why's the money not going up? Oh. No. No field found. Like hell. <sighs> just wasted all those eggs I was trying to sell them at the bakery and they didn't sell best upset very upset start now you're just wasting fertilizer that's what you're doing um down to you're still carrying on all right yeah you're still doing all right um eggs down here um, yeah, see? It's not what I wanted! It's not what I wanted. So, you're telling me that I can't sell eggs at the bakery since I own it. Is that what you're saying? Can I sell them here? Can I sell the bakery? I don't think I can sell it now that I own it. All right. No, I don't think I can. No, well, that's a shame. Uh, well, I guess I'll throw my last uh, 354 liters of eggs back on the truck and sell them at the farm shop for a reduced price. Especially now that I've got none left, you know. 
That's, that's how I, upset I am. I'm throwing my shit around, you know? Because I have no real intention on making cake anytime soon, so those eggs have just been literally wasted. First time to sell eggs, and I waste them all. It's great. Love and life. Love and life. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -do. Uh, but over a thousand liters of honey, uh, 3,400 liters of lettuce, and now only 354 liters of eggs. So, yeah. Not as good of a haul on the egg portion. But the rest of the goods should bring in a decent amount of money. Uh, stack them a little bit better. We have no wasted space on this trailer now at all. Uh, we had to leave the sides down just to maximize our surface area to place them all. We could get another couple of pieces of lettuce up top. Uh, put them actually in the same stacking order. And hell, we could even stack them up even higher than that if we so choose. But uh, yeah, the already tippy trailer would only get tippier. But we're at the sell point now sell all our goods and stuff uh, what was the term I used like uh, Billy Big Rig or something Johnny big old Johnny or something everything's selling pretty good there keeping it keeping it all selling money is going up pretty good uh, fifteen thousand one hundred and seventy four dollars not bad for some lettuce, a couple of eggs, and some honey. Cannot complain at all. Considering we only had just barely over a thousand liters of honey, most of that came from uh, lettuce. So lettuce, pretty good investment. Pretty good investment. Cannot complain there with the lettuce. Uh, to the point where I might get a second greenhouse. Might also get a second beehive. Just to, you know, step up honey production. You know, never have too much of a good thing. We're not really making that much honey in the grand scheme of things. So a second beehive could really help us out. You know, especially with that bigger uh, spawning pallet place. Pretty good. We are really speeding through town. The locals definitely hate us. Definitely. Especially with all the crashes that we do. We probably increase our taxes a lot around here. And we just... We flood the market with items that no one can get through. Like, that, it's been a lot of lettuce. We've just dumped off of places. And it's soon to be a lot of eggs. I hope this town is ready for eggs. Because there's a lot of them going to be coming. I hope they like their... Uh, I hope they like the stuff that comes out of chickens' butts, because there ain't no slowing down. We are not slowing down our egg production. If anything, you might get a second coop. You know, once this one gets filled, what what's stopping us from getting a second coop and running 1,200 chickens? We got the field space for it. Why not? Right? Right. Uh, so bees. Yeah, let's buy another beehive. Why not? Quit talking about it and do it while I'm doing it doing it don't have to tell me twice don't tempt me with a good time i'm doing it my game wants to load there we go uh speak to it and it'll work bees bees Nineteen thousand for the big one forgot I thought it was cheaper than that 19 grand fine whatever jump change really put another one down here we'll put it right down there because why not we'll put it in some shade yeah We'll place it right there. You're going to let me place? Let me place you. Right there. Boom. Just like that. Two beehives now. Two of them. Doubling our honey production. You know? Don't you know? What about uh, greenhouses? We could place another one down. They're only 10 grand. Right? Another one would fit in there pretty nicely. You know? Get her nice and straight in there. 
It fit there perfectly. And then we could almost put a third one in if we really wanted to. Uh, it still leaves enough room to slide everything out. You know? Don't you know? I think you know. I think you know. Yeah. We're, we did it. Two greenhouses. Two beehives. We are making moves. Yes, we are. We're also throwing tractors, which is also a move, technically. Have to spend some more money on water, but spending a couple of bucks, a couple of thousand dollars in water to make all that lettuce, that, uh, that green gold, if you will, turn that green gold into some green, hard, cold, hard cash, you know, going to be doing good things. Good, good things. Progress is being made left, right, and center. Just you wait. Just you wait. Uh, lettuce. Lettuce. Activate. Storing. Storing. Yes. Storing. Yes. Look at all the lettuce. Okay, well, do a couple of... Uh, he's making another left-hand turn. Practice for our NASCAR debut. Uh, filling up these buckets of water. Well, I'll see you guys uh, when they're full. Oh my god, this is crazy. What's he gonna do? He's gonna make another left-hand turn. Oh my god, never before seen left-hand turn. I'm sorry. Please don't uns unsubscribe. So, our greenhouses are now full, both of them. Fill right up to the brim. Right up to the tippy top, if you will. Oh, yeah. 18,000. 19,000. We are going to really step up our lettuce production. We're also stepping up our honey production. Our field has been turned around already. Planted. Look at that. Didn't even use 20% of the seed. This Voltra did pretty good. I'm thoroughly pleased that our Voltra can do this. It struggles. It's on the struggle bus. Don't get me wrong. Um, she complains about it. We are beating her. Um, but you know, what's a slap in the face? Just carry on. Keep doing what you're doing. No time to quit. We, we don't have quitters on this farm. We just, y you suck it up and you do it. Y you take the abuse with a smile on your face there, Voltra. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm glad the Voltra is good with the abuse and likes it. If he didn't like it, then uh, that wouldn't be good. Is this contract completed? That contract is completed. On to field 13. Where is field 13, you ask? I don't know. I'm asking myself. Field 13, just across the railroad track. But we gotta unfortunately go all the way back up to here and across. So we gotta go for a little trip just to get to the next field. But uh, money is money. We like our money. Contract. That one's complete. 6000 bucks there. We'll collect that. And we're gonna go make close to another $8,000 off the next one. So, you know, cannot complain at all. We're making it through the day. It's 1,500 hours. So 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, it's been a pretty good day. Not too bad. Maybe I could cut across the tracks and, uh, you know, uh, risk my life by getting run over by a train. Even though it's been a good day, then we still got to do that. Well, no train this time. We made it. We can farm for another day. Should really break out of 22 and start shooting at all these balloons. You know, there's a lot of them. Maybe there's not enough danger in it. Put a little bit of danger into the sport, then uh, then you'll really thin out the herd. You know? I went the wrong way, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. I gotta make a Leahy right here. And then make a Randy into the field. We might as well just unfold this now on the way. And since our fertilizer spreader is kind of empty, it would it would definitely make more sense to work at this sideways just so we don't have to go up that hill. 
a nice slow speed because our Massey, as much as I like the Massey, she's a little low on horsepower to be pulling this thing up monstrous hills like that. So working sideways might take us a little bit longer in theory, but I think in practice, uh, being able to work at a constant 11 mile an hour across this field instead of doing like two mile an hour coming up this hill, I think it's going to work out better for us in the long run, I think. If you think I'm stupid for doing this, let me know down below in the comments. I might have to do a hella impasse because of those trees, but uh, I'm sure he'll figure it out. If not, he'll bitch at me and let me know. Uh, chickens, still doing good. Still doing pretty good on feed, too, I think. Uh, bailing, no, no thanks. I don't really want to feel, I don't really feel like bailing. Uh, harvesting, another $12,000. We can get our uh, combine back that we used. Uh... Sold on the train though, so I don't really want to do that. The train didn't treat us very well last time. Sewing, uh, sugar beet, we need a planter, we can't do that. Uh, we could possibly do that one, but we don't. No, I'm not I'm not going to do a sewing contract because our tractor isn't big enough. I posted the question in the last episode, what tractor should we get? Uh, we went over a couple of them. Uh, our cedar, now that we have actually bought one, uh, ba -ba our cedar requires 240 horsepower and that tractor that case that we were looking at how many horsepower does she have no i don't not the massey stupid double click this one right here not that one this one 261 so the mass or this uh case right here technically has enough horsepower an extra 21 to spare and it's the cheapest option. It would be the cheapest option that we have to get an over 250 horsepower tractor. I think. I think it would be the cheapest option. To get over 250 horsepower. Let me just double check here. Uh, yes. The total would be 142,000 for 261 horsepower. Which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Because even... If we go down the Massey that we currently have only gives us 170 with the upgraded motor. John Deere 175. Uh yeah. The McCormick would be the first one to get 240, 295. Yeah. Yeah. Case is the cheapest option. But let me know what you'd like to see down below in the comments. What kind of sales do we have on the saddle track? Saddle tracks for sale. It's got a three point. It's got three points. I never really thought about using the saddle track for something other than, you know, saddle track things. A little overkill. Well, it's actually a lot overkill. And it's kind of fugly. Not gonna lie, kind of fugly. The cab was back here and it was just like one of the Xerions. Might not be as fugly. But that, that, that's fugly. We're not buying that. This thing's cool. Got no use for it, but it's cool. It's got like a car back end. Look at all the hydraulic hookups on that little thing. Wow. Pretty nifty. Pretty nifty for a little methane power tractor. Well, 75 horsepower too. Huh. Seven mile an hour though. Even slower than our combine. Screw that. Screw that. So yeah, let me know what tractors we should get down below in the comments. And while you're down there, you might as well hit that like button. If you like the video. If you dislike the video, there's a button down there for that too. If you like me and you like what I do here, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. Turn that thing gray. Let's me know that I'm doing an A-OK -okay job and that you want to come back and watch another video. And if that's the case, you might as well ring that bell too because I'll keep you notified anytime I upload a video. And I don't upload it that often, so it won't get annoying. If it does, feel free to unclick that button. But you know, you might as well give it the good old college try. Right? Right. With that said, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles!